It's Friday night, and that means high school football on CBS 17. This is The Blitz. A uh, week for the high school football season tonight. We're at Millbrook High School where the Wildcats looking to bounce back from a tough home loss last week to Garner. Broughton is in town this time. Oh, long time rivalry. A special pep talk needed for this one. And that's exactly what Millbrook's Lamar Marshall gave to his Wildcats. Let's take a listen. And I want to see that dog in you tonight. I love you for a lot of reasons. I love you for your coachability. I love you because you do all the right things. But I like you. I love you even more because I see that dog in you. And I want to see that dog come out tonight. I want to see it all. I want to see flying around. It's looking like we got 14, 15 people on defense. I want to see big hits. I want to see you celebrating with your teammates. I want to see you make somebody miss, run somebody over when you got the ball in your hands. 50-50 ball go up. Who ball is? Oh. That's me and Brooke Bowen. Everybody say playmaker. Playmaker. Hey, playmakers make plays in big games and every single one of them is big. That's an old school rivalry. They coming into our house. It ain't nothing going on from the Broughton side all night long. We're about to hit them in the mouth from the get-go, and it's going to be 48 minutes. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Uh, Coach Marshall's pregame speech must have got him through to the team. Millbrook taking the opening kickoff right down the field. Senior John Alicorn breaking tackle. 7 nothing Wildcats at the time. Millbrook looking for more. They go deep into broad and territory, but this time Alicorn putting on the grass. Ben Horton covers for the Caps. Wildcats, though, they get right back to business. Bobby Fulmore blasts in for the short touchdown run. 14 to nothing. Home team looking good. Millbrook tacks on six more when Alicorn going right up the middle for a second touchdown of the night. It's 20 to nothing. Wildcats looking for the blowout in this one. Millbrook cheerleaders hoping for the same. Wildcats in complete control, but give Broughton credit. Caps, they don't quit. Visitors get the running game in gear behind Donnell Kerning. Broughton goes 80 yards just before halftime. Get on the board when Owen Bogler connects to Chauncey Sumter. 20 to 6, Millbrook at the break. That's as close as it would get. Millbrook scores at will in the second half. Mason Fortune and Henry Hutchins for the score. 27 to 6, Wildcats after that one. Millbrook defense outside of that one. Broughton drive was in control the whole night. Linebacker Christopher Newcomb leading the way right there. The offense continue to pile up points. Sports is going to swing a pass to Sia MacArthur for another score. He's just rolling along there. Fortune will then strike again late in the fourth. This time the sophomore Malachi Gilkis. Nova bounces back from a, a tough loss last week to Garner Blast and rival brought in 44-6. Hey, Chris, I've got Coach Marshall. We talked to you ahead of this game, and you said you emphasized finishing all week long, but you got to love the way you started, marched right down the field, scored a touchdown. How much did that set the tone offensively tonight? Well, it's about finishing, but you also want to get off to a good start, too. I mean, uh, you know, we'll take a lane. Broughton's got a real good football team that came in with a 2 on one record. I got a lot of size and athleticism all over the field, so we know it will be a dog fight. Uh, but I am glad the way we finished there in the fourth quarter. We didn't do everything perfect there in the second half, in particular the second quarter. Uh, but we did finish strong, and so uh, you know we're glad to get the two on one. Defensively, it felt like Broughton was just fighting all week long to try to get something going offensively. Your defense, I mean, just swarmed all night long. Is that the kind of uh, defense you want to see week in, week out? It is, and we, we make quite a few mistakes on defense, which will get cleaned up in practice and through film study. Uh, but a great job by our defense to finish, and we had a, had a fourth down stand uh, there at the end. And, um, you know, we played complimentary football there in the second half, offense, defense, special teams, all three phases, and that's what it's about. You talked about how odd this week has been for this team. Practicing at 5 a.m., you didn't have school today, you had a half day yesterday, and still this group came out and handled business today. What does that say about your team? Uh, this is a mature group of young men. we got a great set of parents who have raised um, an outstanding group of young men, and they're resilient. And so, uh, and that's not to mention a lot of uh, a lot of, of personal issues that our our kids have been going through as well. So I'm just proud of their effort, uh, and I'm proud of them getting a win against an old rival. And uh, and it's on to the next one. We got another big rivalry game next week in Sanderson. Congratulations on the win, coach. Thank you very much. Thank you so much there, Jordan. Now, during the first quarter of the Millbrook home games, there's a little added joy on the sidelines, courtesy of the Elite Wildcats. Special needs cheer program at Millbrook High School to get these cheerleaders game ready as senior cheerleaders Emma Pickett, Caroline Cox, and Felicia Schweitzer take time at the lunch period twice a week. Coach Chance cheers, jumps, and stunts all, seeing it all come together on Friday night 
It brings much joy to the coach's faces, as does the Elite Wildcats. It makes me so happy to watch them be happy. Like, them having even a small glimpse of happiness during the game gives me so much joy. I love the Elite Wildcats. They bring so much joy to the stadium, and it just always puts a smile on my face when we're cheering with them. I love watching their smiles on their faces when they see the crowd cheer at them. It just really makes everyone happy.